Hey you guys, welcome to another pick a card reading here on my YouTube channel, Into the Light. Thank you so much for being here today and clicking on my video. So today's pick a card reading is going to be about what makes you irresistible. So basically, what makes you attractive, you know? So I have three piles to choose from today. So we're going to be choosing from these cute animal images. So we have the rabbit, it's pile one. We have the caribou as pile two, and we have this really fancy fox as pile three. Okay, so those are your three piles to choose from. So either pile one with the rabbit, pile two with the caribou, or pile three with the fox. So as you think of your question, what makes me irresistible? Use your intuition to guide you to the pile of your choice, and your timestamps will be in the description box or in the comments below. All right, so let's get started with pile one with the rabbit. Hey, you guys. So if you have chosen pile one with the rabbit here, you found your way to your reading. So what makes you irresistible? So we're going to start talking about this card, the rabbit spirit, what it symbolizes, its meaning. There's some meanings on the back, but... There's also some other symbolism that doesn't really show up in the back here. But for one, so the rabbit spirit talks about being prosperous. So even on the back here, it says abundance. So the rabbit is about abundance. So people see you as someone that's very abundant, someone that just has, has it all, you know? You might be someone that dresses very nicely, always has your hair done a certain way, whatever. It's just like you always look good. You actually take that effort to put towards your um, body, you know, maybe if you get your nails done or stuff like that. If you get lip fillers, I don't know, whatever it is, you put some material effort into your look, even just buying you clothes every other week, whatever it is. Um, as well, like the rabbit is about uh, fertility. So you may just be someone that just looks very fertile, I guess, um, in the way where if you are a woman, you may have like really big hips, you know, the wider hips, the easier your birth, your labor is going to be if you ever want to give, uh, give birth and stuff like that. But if you're not, um, people may just see you as someone that could be like the mother or the father figure, like you're just very nurturing, you know? But as well, without having to do with kids and stuff like that, you're just very fertile about the ideas that you have. And every idea you come up with, you act on it. And that's also something that makes you very irresistible. All right? Um, as well, like, rabbits are very cute and cuddly. So this is something that makes you irresistible as well. You're just very, you have a very cute face, whatever it is. Um, you might have... A, People just want to cuddle you a lot, like, you might have, like, the cuddly body, you know, and you're just very approachable, right? But as well, it's like you have no issue just expressing your happiness and expressing, expressing your affection to those that you love, all right? And as well, like, when you think of a rabbit, like, you know, they're always just hopping around, doing something, you know? So you're very spontaneous, you jump on your ideas, you may be a little bit timid, a little bit shy, but people notice this about you and think it's really cute, you know, that you have that very, um, you might have like a girl next door, a guy next door kind of personality, kind of vibe that people love about you. Okay, so we're going to get into it. Get into your cards. So for your tarot, we have the Empress. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, definitely someone that um, spends a little bit of money on their luck here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. All right. And then next, we have Belonging. And then for your Karma cards, we have Pluto. And we have the Ninth House. 
Next we have here and now. And then we have poised. So I'm going to move those up a little bit here. Okay. And then you have your rabbit card, which I'm just going to put to the side here. Okay. So what makes you guys irresistible? So as I said in the beginning, like you're somebody that spends some money on their look, you know, you just always are into the trends, or if you're not into the trends, like if you don't really follow trends, you always make up your own sort of look. You have your own unique, unique way of doing things. Um, your hair might be a little different. Your style might be a little different. Something like that, all right? Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, you may be sure and maybe more on the full side as well, especially like when you think of the rabbit here, I'm thinking of someone that may be a little small, um, but rabbits have that like cuddly body, you know? So that could be you. If not, just take what resonates. You know, you could also have this very um, slim body. It doesn't really matter here, but that's what I'm picking up. Um, you're just very gorgeous. Like everyone looks at you and just knows. Like you're just very beautiful. You might be into makeup or you might be in the modeling industry just or an actor or something where you're just known and noticed by a lot of people. You might be a little bit at the center of attention here. All right. Um, as well, like... We don't objectify people around here, but people kind of like look at you as like this trophy, like a trophy wife or like a trophy girl or guy, you know, you just have all those qualities that people want in a person, you know, like it's up to who the person is that like looks at you, but to everyone, you have something about you that everybody really likes, right? Um... You also may be very, as I said, like in earlier, like the rabbit is very abundant and we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles here. So you may have um, some money in the bank, you know, you might have a nice car, whatever it might be, things like that. Um, you may wear like jewelry. So when I think of like, uh, like, pentacles here I'm thinking about like material things so you may wear a lot of jewelry whatever it might be like that you may have nice shoes things like that and this is so weird it's like more talking about what you have but I feel like people see that you have a lot of like great things and you're like oh my gosh like let me in on your secrets what do you do like how do you get these things um but yeah, also what makes you very irresistible here is you are somebody that makes people feel like they belong. Like we have the belonging card here. So it doesn't matter who this person, who the person is. Like it doesn't matter how much money they have, how much money they don't have, if they are, you know, super popular or if they're not. It doesn't matter who the person is. It doesn't matter their identity. You always make people feel like a sense of belonging, right? So... To you, you will have like a whole bunch of different types of friends. Like you can have friends that are gay, you can have friends that are uh, artists, you can have friends that are straight, it doesn't matter. Like you have a very wide range of friends with different identities and different things that they like to do. And that also makes you very irresistible to people because people notice that uh, it doesn't matter who you are you're going to accept them no matter what um and you see people based on their true nature their intentions you know you see people based on like who they are inside instead of like physically there'd be like a lot of people that don't know you though that's why I'm like picking up more physical things like a lot of people that don't know you and aren't close to you they kind of just look at you physically and see what you have and that kind of like makes them feel like oh my gosh this is so like you're so interesting and blah blah, blah. but for people that do know you you are someone that has a very big heart all right you're someone that has a big heart and you're very intellectual but also very emotionally balanced here so over here we have 
resurrect, get to the heart of, do or die if you must. Um, I feel like you're a ride or die person too. Like with your close friends, it's like, all right, someone's messing with you. Let me go talk to them, you know? Like you are very, um, what's the word? You're very true to your friends. You're very true to your friendship, very um, trustworthy and reliable. Okay. Um, as well, Pluto talks about um, striving for protect protection. You might be somebody that does protect your friends as well. Um, and other people just want to like protect you because it's like, you know those memes where it's like, she must be protected at all costs. That's literally you. Um, but also Pluto talks about striving for perfection. So you, as I said earlier, you may spend um, a little bit on your appearance, on your clothing, whatever it is. Um, but also I feel like people just see you as someone that's just perfect. Like you may have very beautiful, clear skin, you know, it doesn't matter like what color of your skin that it is. I'm meaning like you don't have acne or anything like that. You might have like a very cute round face as well. Um, may have long hair. Or just like there's an emphasis on like just your physical appearance just makes people like want to be around you, want to be with you. That's why I'm also feeling like you might be, you might be uh, considered like a model to some people. Like you can model or you can be an actor. You can just be on TV and everybody will watch you especially with poise here it's like you could be the performer like this girl is just on this like uh a pillar here and she's like dancing or whatever so people just see you as very beautiful and you could literally be the center of attention right here they see you as a star all right um so with this here and now card as well i feel that sorry Something else that makes you very irresistible to people is that, as I said like earlier, like you're kind of just the center of attention. Like this woman is just in the center here. I feel like you don't open up to a lot of people. Like there's a certain amount of people that you open up to. And when they get to know you, it's like they don't want to lose you in their life. Like you're such a good friend, a good person that nobody wants to lose you here. And I feel like you definitely focus on the present moment and everything that you have in life you're somebody that is very humble and you know you may be very abundant and you may have like a good amount of money and stuff like that but you're somebody that's very humble right you're somebody that is very grateful of what you have and grateful of how you got here you know and also with the ninth house here um you're somebody that has a lot of spiritual values as well like, people may think that they know you on the outside, but not really. Once you have to get really close to you. Um, as well, I feel like something else that makes you irresistible is that when you have certain ideas, it's like you make sure you go out and do it. And you do it like, and it says here, like, do it in a big way. So people are always just wondering like what your next move is going to be especially with rabbit like um as i was saying earlier like you may be someone that's very spontaneous so once you have an idea and you act on it it's like everybody's just waiting for your next move what you're going to do next what you're going to do next your hair what you're going to do next with um a project or whatever you're going to do it's like you kind of keep people on their toes because it's like you're always changing something right so that's what I got for you guys that chose Pile 1. If you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye now. Hey guys, so if you have chosen Pile 2 oops, with the caribou animal spirit here, this is your reading. So what makes you irresistible or what makes you attractive? So I'm going to first talk to you guys about the caribou animal spirit because this is basically some personalities or characteristics that you embody. So with the caribou spirit, um, there's a little bit of symbolism on the back here. Um, but basically the caribou is very um, determined. 
and the caribou spirit is very adaptable to any situation that it's in. So the caribou spirit talks about the circle of life. So the caribou can kind of just go through, you know, the cold times, the warm times, whatever it is, and still like strive, you know, because they're very, um, very resilient. And the caribou like is always around um, their family, their community. So you're somebody that um, always has people around you and you make people feel very at home and very safe. Um, as well, the caribou represents duality and perseverance. So another thing about the caribou is like with other types of deer and things, um, deer and things, like deer, it's usually the male that has the antlers and then the female doesn't. Um, I believe that's how it goes. But with the caribou, it's like both the female and the male have antlers. So you're somebody that can balance both uh, masculine and feminine energies, right? And it's like, you know that sometimes you have to be that leader, but other times you know that you can also be that follower. All right, so you have that balance between those two energies. So you're definitely somebody that is very um, inventive, but also very resourceful in the things that you do. Okay. Um, let's see what else back here. Yeah, so you're also somebody like the caribou also represents rebirth, like the other symbolism of it. So something else about you that is something that people actually look up to is that whatever you go through, this is where the resilience comes from, whatever you go through, any kind of obstacle, any kind of challenge, it's like you always come out even better and even stronger. Like you can endure any weather, any challenge, any storm. All right. So let's get into your tarot cards. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Sun. It's out of focus right now because I'm just showing the cards one by one, but I'll put it back in focus. Um, we have Differences. Next for your karma cards, we have the moon. And we have the second house. Next we have yang. Again with that masculine energy here. And then we have happy, happy. All right. And I'll just put your animal spirit card right over here. Okay, so what makes you guys irresistible? What makes you folks irresistible? What makes y'all irresistible? Okay. So, we're going to start with the Wheel of Fortune. So it's up here. So with the Wheel of Fortune, as I was speaking about earlier, definitely you're somebody that is very adaptable, right? Whatever way the wheel turns, you kind of just flow into it. You just let it take you away, all right? So any situation that happens, you're very confident that you can go through it and make it, make things work, all right? So it's like people just see you as very powerful and it's like you're not somebody that like you may be somebody that gets down in the dump sometimes and you, you know, may be really anxious, but you don't show that to the world, really. You just keep on pushing. And it's like even times when you are feeling really down and you just don't want to like go outside and you don't want to do anything, you're still kind of uh, looking on the brighter side, sharing things about um, not giving up and spirituality and stuff like that. Like you're somebody that... Um, always shares your ideas with the community, um, community of people, like maybe online, whatever it is, if you have a blog, stuff like that. 
to whatever you find, some kind of quote, something that makes you happy, you always make sure to share that to the world, all right? Um, with the Queen of Cups here as well, something that makes you irresistible is you just have this very um, nurturing quality of you. So even when you like get into relationships or even just like your normal friendships, whatever, you're someone that always makes sure that everyone's doing good and if you guys are going somewhere or have an idea on something, you have to you make sure that everyone in that group can actually benefit from it. So you're very inclusive in that way, very nurturing. And when I think of the Queen of Cups as well, like you have um, a balance of your emotions as well. And you're just a very loving person, like very loving, very kind. You have a very sweet soul. Your rising sign might be a water placement. It doesn't have to be, like, but that's what I'm kind of feeling with, like, the Queen of Cups beside the sun. Like, your rising might be a water placement. So check that out. But if not, maybe your moon is in a water placement. But anyways, um, you embody those characters of um, a water sign. You know, you're very... You might be uh, someone that's, like, people be like, oh, water signs are very emotional, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, that's true and all. Like, yeah, I can vouch for that. Like, my moon and my rising are water signs. But you're somebody that is very sensitive, you know? Like, your emotions are important because you're sensitive to not only just your own emotions, but other people around you. And that's why you are very inclusive of everyone else and you have a very high awareness of the emotion of others so to people what makes you irresistible is like nobody wants to lose you as a friend because it's like you know people and you know them like the back of your hand like it doesn't matter who they are it's like you you actually get to understand your friends and understand the person that you're with in relationships um, so well that it's like these people don't want to lose you because it's like with other people that they've been around they don't really get you get they don't really you don't really what am I saying other people don't get them like you get them all right this is a mouthful um but also you have a very dreamy look to you like people just get so enticed by you it's like People just look at your face and just get taken away on a cloud or something. I don't know, especially with this moon here. Like, you're very dreamy. You may have a very soft look to you as well. Um, maybe you have very soft skin, soft face. I don't know. You might have a very, like, childlike look to you as well. Like, you don't really look like a child, but... You might have like, let's say you have chubby cheeks or something, but like it's more so you just always look happy and always look positive. Like you don't look angry, you know, you just have a very soft face. Um, and yeah, and I feel like you're very compatible with a lot of people. Like even if your signs really aren't compatible with another person, you're still compatible with people because you actually like to get to know people and you you're really good at like observing others and their qualities and stuff so yeah um with the sun though like you're somebody that is definitely like in the center of attention um even if you don't like being in the center of attention and stuff like that like you're somebody that people are like oh my gosh do you see what they're doing today like do you see what they're wearing and it's like when you walk into a room when you walk into a room everybody looks at you it's like you have this aura just glowing around you right you just radiate this like positivity and you radiate this beauty you know and something else that makes you very irresistible is just you're very optimistic about life and you're somebody that is very um, joyful and just happy all the time. Like you have happy, happy right here and then you have the sun card. So it's a double confirmation there, right? 
Um, and people just see you as very successful, you know? And everyone just knows that one day you're going to be somebody. You're going to do something. And I feel like that's another reason why a lot of people might keep up with you on, like, social media, whatever it might be. They just want to know what you're doing. Because people just know you have that star quality, you know? And they know that you're going to make it somewhere. And you're very humble about it, too. So it's like, you're like the full package here. I'm getting so warm right now, like so warm. So I feel like you have a very warm personality too. You're just very like hot, honestly. Um, but yeah, you might be also, you have this very, like I was saying soft look, but also like innocent look. So you don't really look like a child, but you just look very innocent. All right, let me just clarify that <laughs> before people get mad at me in the comments. <laughs> um, but you're very glowy. You have a glowy look. You might have very glowy looking skin. Um, yeah. So with differences here, like, you might have a unique look to yourself. But it's like, it's something that makes you yourself, right? And you may notice a lot of differences between you and other people. But you still have that very loving, um, loving personality to, to anyone that this that they are you know like someone may be complete opposite from you but you still accept them for who they are and another thing too is like I feel like you're very flexible with people like you kind of have this like chameleon I don't know why but I'm getting like a, an image of like a chameleon in my head so I feel like with certain people you kind of just embody their energy. So say you're dealing with someone and they have this very quirky personality that's very different. You can easily pick up on their quirky personality and embody that and actually talk to them in the way that they know best, you know? So you kind of like share the jokes that the other person will understand, you know? Because you just have that high awareness of other people. So it's like you actually stray your conversations differently depending on who you're with. So whatever group you're in, you can just blend in very easily because you just pick up on, um, you just pick up on the energy of different people, okay? Um, even if you're different, like you still get along with a lot of people here. And then with the yang energy too, it's like you're you have you embody both those feminine and masculine qualities here. So as well, people see you as someone that is is very material materially happy as well, but also someone that is very stable. And as I said like earlier, like with the masculine energy, you're somebody that can definitely be a leader right and you know that you know that you have the ability to make things happen you know you have a creative idea and you work on it and you build it from the bottom up right you just have that power to make things happen you love to take action on the ideas and the things that you want to do so you can make you can think of a thought you manifest that thought and that desire and you create it in like a concrete um, concrete form, right? You bring it into reality. And with the second house, it's like whatever you believe in, you strive for that, right? You're very strong on your beliefs and it doesn't matter if other people don't understand it or anything. Like you're still very, very... Um, Gosh, I'm saying so much. It doesn't matter if people don't understand it. Like for me, like I do tarot, right? And a lot of people don't really understand tarot and don't really get it, right? But I'm not going to stop doing tarot because people don't understand it and people don't think it's a real thing or not, you know? It's what makes me happy. So you... Sorry, I was getting a phone call, like... So rude. 
Um, but yeah, you stand up for your beliefs and what makes you happy, okay? Um, and that's why this happy, happy card is here too. It's like you are just always very um, happy with where you're going in life, happy about the people that you surround yourself with. Um, just you have all of this beautiful energy just pouring into you. And you're someone that may be very spiritual, look like. Like you're getting all of these downloads, all of this great, beautiful, positive energy from the universe, right? So, yeah. And I feel like you let people know how you feel as well. Like you're not someone that holds back your feelings. Like some people kind of just like, they'll feel sad and not say anything to other people. But you'll actually be like, hey, listen, you actually did this and it made me upset. So you're very, very authentic with how you feel as well, very authentic in your beliefs and your values. And that's what makes you very irresistible. So that's what I got for you guys that chose pile two. Sorry for rambling so much. I don't know why I'm so chatty today. I'm like losing my mind. <laughs> All right, so that's what I got for you guys. If you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye now. Hey you guys, so if you have chosen pile three with the fox spirit here, you found your way to your reading. So what makes you irresistible? So I'm going to first start talking about the animal spirit that you chose because this is going to tell you a little bit about your personality and whatever characteristics that you may have. Okay, so the fox. When people think of the fox, you know, they think very sneaky and mischievous and stuff like that but on the good side of things the fox is an animal that only reveals itself when there are unpredictable changes and the fox is someone that just comes out when the time is right you know so for some people you may seem like very to yourself but you know when you're supposed to, you know, show your character and you know who to show your true self to, right? So you can really just tune into your own senses as well. And as I was saying, like, the fox may be known as someone that's sneaky little trickster, but you keep that very low-key vibe, low-key energy, and then you just wow people. It's like, you're just very unpredictable. There's always different changes coming from you that people are like, wait, I wonder what they're going to do next, you know? Uh, but you don't really let too many people know about your ideas and what you're doing, which also makes you very irresistible because it's like people just want to keep up with you, right? And as well, I feel like you're somebody that can actually see through deception, right? You know people's intentions and you can find your way out of those tricky situations and find your way out of those tricky people and scenarios, right? Because you have this very strong analytic um, intelligence as well, okay? Um, yeah, I'm also seeing here creativity, sexuality. So as well, like, I don't know this fox is wearing this, I'm not too sure what it's wearing here. Like, I feel like it's like you only reveal yourself to certain people, right? But you're also, what makes you very sexy is that, and <laughs> what makes you very irresistible is that you're just very sexy, you know? Like people just don't know what you're up to. And then you just post something and it's like, whoa, you have this like mysterious vibe. Like, you might have like Scorpio energy, you know, it's like nobody really knows what you're doing, but you're just so sexy because like, you're just so mysterious, you know? So yeah, let's get into it. So, we have Justice, the High Priestess, The Emperor, we have Invisible, see, you guys, okay, and then we have Libra, nice, 
Okay, so we got Justice and Libra here. Cool. Might be Libras in this pile. We have the Sun. And then we have Treasure Island. And Exchanging Gifts. Sorry, I'm like tapping the screen so hard. Okay. And I'll put the fox card to the side. Alright. So what makes you guys irresistible? Let's get into it. So with justice here, as I was saying, like you guys may have this very distant type of energy, distant look, especially like invisible as well, popping up here. Um, you may be aloof to a certain people, but it's just because you're just, you keep to yourself a lot. But I get like, you might have this like cold, distant look as well. Like, I'm getting like a mean girl vibe. Like, you're not like a mean girl or guy, you know, you don't, you're not really mean at all. You might be, if you think so. But I'm not seeing that you're mean. But, um, you just have that look to your face. Like, I'm thinking of, like, uh, Bella Hadid, if you know who Bella Hadid is. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do. But search that up on Google. Um, I feel like Bella Hadid vibes, you know, if you're a woman, it's like you have that look where it's like, it's just, you kind of just look like a mean girl, but you're not. It's like you're just a model that can't smile. <laughs> I don't know. Like, this is so weird, but... You know when you model, you don't really smile when you model, you just smile. It's like you smile with your eyes and you kind of keep your lips just straight, you know? That's kind of your look, all right? And that's what makes you like very sexy as well because you just, you don't need to smile, you don't need to do much. Like your face is just very like regular. Like you don't have a, like, I must think you have a regular face, but your face can just be like, you're not really putting any emotion or any expression on your face, but you just look so beautiful and very, like, intriguing, right? Um, and if you're a guy, hmm, who kind of has that, like, mean dude look? Um, I don't know. I don't know, really. Maybe, like, hmm... I don't know, I'm just gonna go with like Zayn Malik from One Direction. I know that's like not really a thing anymore, but it's like that mean look, like that mysterious dude type of look. I don't know. Can you tell I read fan fictions when I was a child? Because yeah. Anyways, <laughs> enough about that. Um, as well with the high priestess here. So first of all, you guys do have a very strong physical attraction. Like people see you as very, very sexy. So um, as well with the high priestess, it's like you don't really draw much attention to your body for one. Um, but your face is very intriguing, very beautiful. You might have like a round face, very nice eyes. Um, your hair is always very nice. Um... You guys may be tall as well, because like all these three cards, it's like they're tall in all these cards. They're, they're just standing tall, you know? Like I know the high priestess here is sitting, but traditionally she's like standing up. So you might be very tall, slender, uh, might be curvy as well, have a curvy body, right? Um, as well, like as I'm seeing here with the emperor, like if you're a guy, you have that very stern look to your face, very like mysterious kind of look, right? You guys just make people nervous. <laughs> you make people nervous. Um, but yeah, I feel like with the sun here, it's like you're the center of attention or you could be the center of attention if you don't. Because like with the invisible card here too, like you might not like being in the center of attention at all, but some way people just always talk about you, you know, just because people respect you and people just think you're always doing something cool, you know? Um, 
as well. I see that that what makes you irresistible is you're very, um, very balanced in your relationships with your friends or like actual romantic relationships. You make sure that there's fairness on each level, right? You're someone that can actually cooperate with others and you can compromise when, you know, you need to. And like Libra also rules like beauty and relationships and things like that. And then here it says do it with your partner. So you may be somebody that's always like in a relationship or you're just always like around your friends, you know, you're just always with people. You might have that one like best friend that you're like always around and you guys are like glued to each other, you know? Especially if you kind of are like that low-key person, like you have that one really good friend. Um, let's see here. So well with Treasure Island, like I feel like you're definitely someone that is literally like the whole package. Like you're both beautiful, both very loyal, like very loving. Um, cooperative you are really good at making decisions and very intuitive as well okay you kind of like to take charge and be the leader in certain situations you know if you actually have to work in a group you're like all right I'm gonna take charge don't worry everything's gonna be fair but I'm gonna rule this you know um, and with exchanging gifts here You're very open to other people's ideas as well. Like, that's why you're very cooperative. But it's like you're open to other people's ideas, but also you, you understand the law of giving and receiving. You know, there's always that balance there. Um, and I feel like you're just someone that knows that you have everything that you need. You're very... Um, humble and very generous that's the word generous um, and you're you're like someone that's like you're okay to exchange like your experience and your skills with someone um, to show them that you know I'm somebody that you can trust like this is what I did this is what I know and I'm very confident in myself because of where I've been and what I've gone through, right? Um, and you don't let fear guide your choices. I also think uh, as well, you're very mindful of what people bring into your life. You're very mindful of the, the values of others. And it's like, you know if somebody did something really nice for you, you're going to do something in return as well. Okay. So people can count on you. So, like, if someone was like, oh, like, if you wanted to borrow some money from someone, they'll be like, yeah, whatever, because they know that you're going to, you know, pay them back or whatever. Like, you're very trustworthy in that way. Yeah, and I feel like, as, I, as it says here, like, the gaining of respect. So you have a lot of respect from everyone, different people. These are very strong cards, like Justice, High Priestess, and the Emperor. So I feel like people definitely count on you a lot for your ideas as well. You're definitely, like, you have that strong leader energy. People just like being around you. Like, you have very close friendships. Okay. What else here? Yeah, and I feel like you're a very creative person as well. All right. But 
But yeah, that's what I'm getting for you guys that chose pile three. If you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye now. Oh, one last thing. I just saw this. Things brought to life are light. So you bring things to the surface, right? You let people know what they're doing is really great. You know, you're, you're going to be like, yeah, you're doing great and you're going to cheer people on. So people love them too. So yeah, that's it. Bye guys. <laughs>